Hey everyone, welcome to Psalms and Prayer at 4 p.m. I'm your host, Pastor Don. I'm glad you're joining us today, and I'm really excited about today's uh, psalm, Psalm 22. It's a long one, so I'm just going to jump right into reading it, and we'll talk about it on the other side. So, Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you don't answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you, and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who sees me mocks me. They sneer and shake their heads, saying, Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Then let the Lord save him. If the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. Yet you brought me safely from my mother's womb and led me to trust you at my mother's breast. I was thrust into your arms at my birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. Do not stay so far from me, for trouble is near, and no one else can help me. My enemies surround me like a herd of bulls, fierce bulls of Bashan, have hemmed me in. Like lions, they open their jaws against me, roaring and tearing into their prey. My life is poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax melting within me. My strength has dried up like sun-baked clay. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have laid me in the dust and left me for dead. My enemies surround me like a pack of dogs. An evil gang closes in on me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. My enemies stare at me and gloat. They divide my garments among themselves and throw dice for my clothing. O oh Lord, do not stay far away. You are my strength. Come quickly to my aid. Save me from the, the sword. Spare my precious life from these dogs. Snatch me from the lion's jaws and from the horns of these wild oxen. I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. Praise the Lord, all you who fear him. Honor him, all, your, all you descendants of Jacob. Show him reverence, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but has listened to their cries for help. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. The whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him. All the families of nations will bow down before him. For royal power belongs to the Lord. He rules all. All the nations let the rich of the earth feast and worship bow before him all who are mortal all whose lives will end as dust our children will also serve him future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord his righteous acts will be told to those not yet born they will hear about everything he has done who Sometimes it does feel that way, that, that the Lord is far away. And David here, in the midst of some great suffering, he carries himself from that to great joy. The trust in the Lord carries him to great joy. It's interesting as well, you see a couple of the, the type uh, or the prophecy to Jesus in, in the lines of, um, they pierced my hands and feet. That's Psalm uh, that's 16, verse 16. And then uh, how about uh, verse 18? They divide my garments among themselves and throw dice for my clothing. David's writing about himself here, but he's also referring, or, or the Lord's referring to what's going to happen in the future when Jesus is on the cross and they pierce his hands and his feet. And then the, the Romans... The, the guards, they 
threw dice. They cast lots to figure out what clothing belonged to who. But ultimately, ultimately, even when things seem so bleak and dark, that act on the cross saves us all. And then it gives us hope. It says, the poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. And that's my prayer to you for you, for you today, is that you will be grateful and have everlasting joy. God loves you. Even when it feels like he's far away, even when it feels like he's nowhere to be seen, God is there. God is carrying you. Let the rich of the earth feast and worship, bow before him all who are mortal, all who will turn to dust. Every one of us needs to bow to the Lord. So my prayer today is that we will be those people we will bow to the Lord and we will thank the Lord for all he has done. So Father, thank you for sending your son to take our place on the cross and to give us everlasting joy. Thank you, Lord, for the victories you have led us through, the battles you have led us through and the victories you have declared over us. Lord, and we ask you to continue to guide us in, the, in that. Bring us through these battles. Bring us into victory. And when we feel like you're far away, Lord, remind us that you're right there. In Jesus' most holy and precious name. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with a friend. God bless and goodbye.